we're in a world of synthetic smells and it's cool to kind of think about our natural sense and being able to attract people in your life through your natural sense <laughs> <laughs> that Come I feel me. like that's really and that's that's a hormonal thing so when you kind of balance your hormones and get really comfortable with yourself that's really a uh, portrayal of your authentic self to the world. I loved what you were saying about the hormones because I was actually I wanted to do a, do a video on this very concept of how there's been it's called like the sweaty shirt study uh -huh. mm. how women um, there was a series of experiments that people would work out in their t-shirt and then they'd have it like in a plastic bag or whatever and after the experiment of someone wearing the same t-shirt every day uh, females were smelling these shirts and to see which person they were most attracted to um, by smell through smell yeah mm -hmm. through the smell and then they found it very interesting that um, the, the smell that they enjoyed the smells that they enjoyed the most had like a specific DNA immune system um, gene yeah gene that would pretty much make them have super babies. One of the parts of the sweaty t-shirt study was testing women during different uh, different points of their cycle mm -hmm. and they found that women when they were ovulating were attracted to these men who were you know genetically dissimilar to the point of getting these super babies um, and when when women were not ovulating and particularly when they were menstruating they were more attracted to men who were genetically similar to them. Um, so it wouldn't produce the best offspring necessarily, but it might be more of like a family feel. So someone who might be more likely to um, take care of their children because it might be like a cousin or a brother who would be like <laughs> in the family and willing to take care of the child. Um, I mean, hormonally, like not actually, they weren't smelling the shirts of their brothers and getting turned <laughs> on. I don't think, um, and uh, and they, they found that women who were on birth control um, primarily would be, like, it was most common that they would be attracted to these men who were genetically similar, mm -hmm. and that there would be no change over their monthly cycle. So, um, so this point where, because of the hormonal balance of taking hormonal birth control, they did not have the same acuity of perception when it came to determining a best mate yeah. by, by yeah. smell. Oh, it's so fascinating. Yeah, yeah it really <laughs> is. I love that study. It's a pretty cool one. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I find that I love smelling people's base mm. body sense. Yes. Like it sounds <laughs> creepy, but <laughs> so nice. I love smelling people's basal body scents, and I think that's a celebration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've not worn commercial deodorant in about two years. I spent about a year wearing, I don't know, like two or three years. I spent about a year wearing baking soda, mm -hmm. um, maybe a year and a half. And now, like, it's extremely rare that I'll like put anything on. I oh. found, yeah, I found a natural like spray deodorant that is mostly aromatherapy. Yep. I find that it wears off pretty quickly and then I just smell like me. <laughs> I haven't gotten any complaints at work yet though, so uh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> That's kind of the approach that I'm taking. I'm taking the aromatherapy route where I use a jojoba base and then I'll use sandalwood because that mm. kind of works with your chemistry um, and brings out the chemistry of you, but through sandalwood, mm. the chemistry of me through sandalwood. Oh. Um, so it's kind of beautiful. And then I use sandalwood and lemongrass oh. in that. And found it, found it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> so balancing your hormones is important to do. And it's something that we often don't think about, but it affects our health in a really big way. Um, we can balance our hormones through lifestyle choices. So making sure that we're not stressed, we're getting enough exercise, we can do it uh, through foods, making sure that we're avoiding um, xenoestrogens that are found in most common household products. And you can also avoid soy products. The herb that I use for balancing my hormones uh, is Vitex. I find Vitex works so much. It's, a, it's also called chased berry. 
you could drink it in a tea and you could also get it in a tincture <laughs> which I I've been like taking that but it I don't like the taste it's too flowery like I love the flowers but this one's just it's like drinking perfume pretty much but I recently found essential oil and Vitex essential oil is just even holding it in your hand is just powerful for balancing your hormones so you can use that in your face cream or put it in a little spray um, go easy with it because it's really potent and strong and powerful but uh, Vitex mm. I love it I'll talk I'll tell anyone about Vitex is, did you say that was chased berry yeah, chased berry that's hilarious. Chased berry to yeah. like yeah. help with your hormonal sense. balance. Like, hey, that's true. We're talking about even, fertility awareness. I didn't so, yeah. even think about that. <laughs> I immediately thought of it too. Yeah. What differences have you noticed since you've been using Vitex? Okay, so when I went off birth control, um, I wasn't doing anything, and my uh, cycles were really long, like often thirty-five days which isn't healthy and um, it took me years to finally be like okay I need to do something about this so I discovered Vitex and I found that now my cycles are like 29 days mm. wow. so I just found that my cycles are more predictable and I had like a lot of uh, hormonal acne that have cleared has cleared up mm. so those are kind of the changes that I've noticed Great. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of this is a lot of information that we're covering. Yeah. Like maybe this is like two videos. Yeah, right? yeah maybe it's like six. Part two. You know, six videos. <laughs> that is two of the most important things that we wanted to talk to you about: fertility awareness method, balancing your hormones. The third thing that we wanted to bring into the consciousness is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs>